You want to introduce our next guest for the His Glory audience? I would too. You've seen Julie on The Window in the Supernatural. Yes. And she's been on Take 5 a couple times now. Yes, she has. And her uh, prophecies around certain generals are pretty darn accurate. <laughs> They're getting very interesting, let me tell yeah. you. <laughs> and the generals enjoy them, too. Do they? Mm-hmm. That's good. That's good to know. I'm mm-hmm. glad to hear that. <laughs> it's warming them up to it. It is. Oh, they're warm. Oh, good. Yep. That's where, that's where they need to go anyway, so that's yep. good. This is Miss Julie Green. Uh, she has Julie Green Ministries and exists to transform the lives through God's unconditional love, his word, and the hope that comes from a personal relationship with him. She also hears from the Lord and gives amazing prophecies. Welcome. Yes, thank you. Thank you for having me. It is exciting to be here with both of you. I've been watching you both for a long time, and then when I had to stop, it was really horrible, but I love being <laughs> in person with you guys now and being a part of this massive event. Yes. I mean, it's so wonderful. Wonderful to see so many people of God and people who aren't yet yeah. wanting the hunger for this freedom that we know this country should already have. Yeah. This is a hunger and this is an awakening. God is starting it and he says it's just the beginning and it's going to get even bigger mm-hmm. than what we are seeing now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it is pretty outstanding to be here. Yeah, it is outstanding. You, you've been on a couple times on Take 5 and some of the, the pr- prophetic words that you, the Lord has given you, I was like, how could she know that? You said it was like uh, Amanda and I were like reading your emails. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you two are very similar in the prophetic. In the way the Lord the speaks way to us. The Lord speaks, yep. And mm-hmm. the words are very similar, too. And they're Praise very God. detailed. I'm telling you that when yeah. I did shut all the prophets off, which I was just telling you about yeah. earlier, and how sad I was about it, but it was for the fact that he wanted to give more details and he didn't want me to be confused with everybody else. That's true. Too many, too many voices in the kitchen. You can't have yes. that. Yeah. And and when I did, it's just the, the more they're coming, and they're coming more frequently as well. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, they're every single day. Yeah. And it's just awesome to hear God speak to this degree and what he's speaking, what he's exposing, and at the same time encouraging the body of Christ. Amen. That's what I love about it. It's, it. He's encouraging, not just giving you what is going on the news before the news but he really is encouraging his body to wake up and realize that he is and he knows all these things he do and he's doing something about it yep. he certainly is you asked before <laughs> we went live if i listened to amanda i i, I don't listen to any pro- a, a prophecy i don't a i don't have time and b i don't want it to interfere that's right. what it makes it so amazing is when you two come on and you give your prophetic words from the lord it's like like i said are they looking at my email they're looking at my text messages <laughs> It's, Remember it's the amazing. one last time about, um, who was that? We were talking about, um, oh, no, I can't even think of his name. General Petraeus? General Petraeus was yep. one of them, and then Saul Alinsky yep. was the other one. Yep. And um, I had actually p- pulled up a word. Okay. I had no intention of doing this right before I got on the show. And I pulled it up. I'm like, well, I might be talking about that, but General McInerney is what I really wanted to talk about because I told him I had a word on General McInerney. So I had it up. Well, then all of a sudden the Lord had me highlight about Saul Alinsky and about this private book that they've been uh, passing around in our government behind closed doors. It's their playbook. Well, all of a sudden I said something to him about it, and he goes, I was just talking to a colonel that just said the very same thing word for word. Literally. (laughs) The show, the Take 5, before she came on, and I had no idea what she was going to talk about, he was exposing Saul Alinsky. Wow. Colonel that happens to be good friends with General McInerney. And I have no idea what I'm going to say. I really, before, yeah. I don't really plan anything. I just say, okay, Lord, what do you want me to say and what do you want me to do? That's how I plan. I just plan according to, like, okay, Lord, I will say what, whatever you want me to say. And he directs my steps every single time. And every single time I'm on the show with you, something big has come up. Mm-hmm. And I know that one time with Lynn Wood, we were yep. talking about. So there's a lot of things. God is just proving himself, confirming with all of us through all the prophets, what he's doing behind the scenes. And it is awesome to see what he's doing. Yeah, we got a lot of emails for that because you brought up Len Wood. And yes. uh, I had a puzzled look on my face. And the reason I had a puzzled <laughs> look on my face is because just that morning I got something interesting that I that was a, like a curveball on Len Wood. And I was like, wow, maybe there's more to this. Mm-hmm. And I think there is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, It's going to play out. Yeah, and the Lord is showing us that he is... All these things that we, um, excuse me, that we, the people think that is true, and he's, he's proving that it's a lie. Yeah. And that there's more covert operations than people realize. Exactly. <laughs> Read into that. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Boom. Yeah. People like to throw people in these categories where they're, 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 they're good, they're, they're, they're the good guys and the bad guys. Well, it's far more complex than that. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, yeah. so we're seeing that now. Yep. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure you've heard prophetically the same thing about covert operations. Yeah, there's some things the Lord uh, mentions to me, and I don't even know. You know what I mean? I don't even understand what it is, and sometimes I have said it when I've delivered a word from the Lord, and I see his face <laughs> begin to go when I'm saying it. But I don't understand what it means. I've heard w- words. I don't I don't know the meaning mm-hmm. of them. You know, so it's the Lord has a whole different way of speaking and, uh, and vocabulary Yes, many times than we do. Mm-hmm. And he'll give you just one word. So I was just telling my CEO, Mary Lou, I said, um, he gave me this word, and I don't know what it means. And there's a lot of them. And I'm like, and I don't know, but I'm going to say them. And one of them was whitewater. He yeah. said, you're going to hear of whitewater. And you I'm are. like, okay, what is whitewater? I'm thinking of whitewater rafting because that's where mine goes. And I'm like, well, I know it has to be more than that. And, well, there is something more to that. And he told me about there's going to be exposures regarding this name and to look for this name. There's so many weird things. You're just like, okay, Lord, why did, why did you? Uh, Blackwater is another one he told me uh, about, about more exposures and stuff. And watch for that name in the news. Um, and that word. And so there's, he, he may mo- not always give me details about what word and what they mean. The moment before you said that, uh-huh. I heard black water in my spirit. I'm not even kidding. You said white water, and then I heard black water, and I'm like, I'm going to wait a moment before I say anything. And she just said it. Well, when, when the last time we did Grace and Glory was what, Friday? Yeah. Um, or Monday? This is Monday, right? Yes. Uh, I, I think I re- reread the 17 scandals. Yes. Those are in it. Mm hmm. Oh, wow. Okay, well, Not that's open. why I heard those words. White yep. water, black yeah. water. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. So, again. He's got multiple scandals that are going to be uh, brought up. Yeah, and he said with that name, Whitewater, pay attention to the location. The location is very important. And so I'm like, okay, I don't know what this means, but I'm going to put this down. And, again, he'll, he'll give it to me. And uh, so, yeah, there's a lot that's going to yeah. be coming out here shortly. So have you guys <laughs> had prophetic words about Arkansas? <laughs> So yes. who was I just talking to that literally they, oh, it was about capital punishment. Um, I was interviewing on for capital punishment on another uh, radio show, and they were talking about, uh, they called Alabama, Alaska, and then that's when the all the things happened at the Capitol building on January 6th. I didn't know they called those two states. I didn't either. No. Mm-hmm. So that was part of the prophetic word that you had, the, the A's, remember? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They were starting to the, pro- and then they stopped. Yeah. Literally. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Mm-hmm. Well, and about our new capital, I, you know, people have been asking me, where's the new capital? I have some hunches about Pennsylvania and about Florida, but I mean, God is really telling us he is moving the capital. It's not, the capital that is there right now is not what he wanted. And what has been going on there, people will realize why he had to get rid of it. And so the body of Christ really has to understand there's a lot of things that are going to happen here in the few, you know, months or whatever, that's going to really change the landscape of this of this country right, right so when you brought that up i think you were on his glory when you said that yeah. um i think you got it out of me uh philadelphia <laughs> philadelphia, philadelphia is is one of them that they're looking at the that, liberty that's bell yep i've prophesied about the liberty bell the liberty before. bell will yeah. be I was healed just there yeah you were just yes, at the liberty bell yes uh-huh. i had never seen it i had to go yes yeah. i had to go to the liberty bell I, there was something so astounding about it and i'm like lord i have to go to the liberty bell and when i was in that atmosphere i just could feel this awakening in this country, and he's saying it's going to be reborn. Yeah, it is, which means the Statue of Liberty is part of the old order. Yes, watch that statue. The Lord is. Do you know what the Statue of Liberty is tied to? It's, I think it's tied to some false god. It, Islam. It's, I, yeah, it's some false it, mm-hmm. goddess. God. So basically, that's got to come down somehow. That has to come down. I've had prophecies about the Statue of Liberty coming down. Yeah. Yes. It, it, he said any th- any monument that was erected by them that he didn't want. It will be torn down, and he said the Liberty Bell. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he mentions a lot the Liberty, or not Liberty Bell, I'm sorry, the Statue of Liberty, I'll get that right. And then he also mentioned the Washington Monument. Yeah. Oh, yes. And mm-hmm. then all the arches of Baal. Yep. And many other things that are in this country that we didn't even know. But one thing he was very astounding when I heard it, when he said about um, destroying Washington, D.C., he was leaving up the Lincoln Monument mm-hmm. to honor Lincoln. I know why, yep. He was the one that's fighting to save. I mean, it's deep, but uh, he was one of the true good guys. He yeah, said, I honored him then, I'm going to honor him. Or, I honored him then, I'm going to honor him now. That mm-hmm. was his word for that. So, I mean, yes, that is going to be saved. And anything, any monument that is here that is really of God will stay. It's just the ones that are not of him that God really wants destroyed will be destroyed. And nothing can stop that. <laughs> I mentioned this, like, 
four years ago that there was tunnels all over underneath Washington, D.C. People thought I was absolutely bat crazy. There are, and now they're getting exposure. When we went to the monument, we could actually see below, remember? Well, there's that little cap, and like it. You see the tunnel. It, yeah, there's like a cap, and it, you can, mm -hmm. it, well, we didn't open it, but it can open, and it's. I've never been there. Yeah, yeah we saw I've it never been there. It's very, it looks like the Egyptian, what are they called? Obelisk. I, I, I forgot the, the, how to pronounce it, but in Egyptian culture, they build the same things. Like almost identical. Really? Yes. That doesn't surprise. I guess that shouldn't have surprised any of us because mm -hmm. they, it's not like they make anything new. Honestly, they just take it from something before. That's why God said these are the like pharaohs of old. It's the same demonic things that are behind the leaders now mm -hmm. that they were back there with Pharaoh. It's the same thing. It's just called something different, or they're just different people. Yeah. When we went into Washington D.C., we drove the first time. Yes. And there was three dead foxes along the road. Just as I entered into D.C., and they were six feet apart. Really? Just laying on the road in a city. That is no coincidence. That is no coincidence. There's no coincidence with God. I mean, seriously, there's not. I mean, it is so awesome to see what he's doing right now. And what he's about to expose, he keeps saying the word brace for impact. Yeah. He keeps saying that. Brace for what you're about to hear. Because there's a lot of things that people are going to hear that they are not, not going to know what to do with it. They're not going to know how to handle it because it's going to be so horrible. Right. And he mentioned more laptops. <laughs> we were talking about the laptops before on Take 5. He's mentioning more. Uh, well, so I don't know if you knew. I, ha I actually have access to the laptop now. Really? Yeah. And to, to, to Hunters? Hunters, yes. Okay. I'm not opening it, though, because I don't want to get trapped yeah. into whatever could be right. in there. But we have two... Two people that are going to come forward uh, and, that have the laptop as well and show what's on the laptop. Wow. Well, there's um, also Nancy Pelosi's. There's stuff on her laptop that's going to come out and it's going to expose a lot. This is where. I bet the, you Kamala's got one too. I'll give you a little hint. Sign language. Okay. This is where a little general may come in. Just saying. Oh. Okay, so the general that I said that had yeah. something? Okay. Yep. <laughs> Hang on, giddy up. <laughs> One of the things that he said when I told him that about, um, is it okay if I say his name or not? I, I yeah, he'd, he'd probably I say it. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, you could say it. I don't want to give anything away. That's why I was like, General McInerney, mm -hmm. he said he has something. He goes, go forward with it, my son. He goes, who um, is in contact with you is from me. And so they're okay. And then he gave another word to him again and said, go forward. I'm protecting you. Everything's going to be okay. Do not fear or do not worry about it. I can't remember exactly what it was, but it was from the actual prophecy that came out today um, on my channel. And it was, again, about him just saying that he's protecting him and everything's going to be all right. And because um, he does have information that other people don't know that he has. Well, I'll have to find and show you something in private. Okay. That... <laughs> it, 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 it touched him. Uh, he's going to come on. He's, he's going to be on his glory with General Valley when I get back next week. But we're going to have General, uh, General McInerney and Lyra Logan on at the same time. Wow. And they're going to go open mm -hmm. this thing wide open. Yeah. And we're going to find out there's a lot of people in this country and a lot of generals that we thought were on our side because we were they're just not. talking about Petraeus. Yep. Yeah. And that's another thing where, like, he, conf he confirmed it with me because that was hard for me to hear that one because I really, really love General Petraeus. And then when I got on the phone, uh, I got on with you with Take 5, and we were talking about it, and it confirmed with him, too, yeah. that it, he's really not as what it yeah, seems the, right now. The wild thing about that is uh, I, I happened to be watching Fox News. So I don't know why. Uh, it was late at night. It was the, the night before you came on, and General Petraeus got on there. I wasn't thinking about General Petraeus in a while because I actually gave a briefing to General Petraeus when he was the director of the CIA and what the definition of the gospel was. Yeah. I still don't understand why, why he wanted that, but... Anyway, I'm just praying on the Lord. I was tired and meditating on the Lord. Is this guy good or not? And he said to me, betray us. Mm -hmm. And then as coming out even more, he goes, U.S. Yep. Betrayed the U.S. Mm -hmm. Wow. And then she brings him up the next day. And names are not a coincidence. Yeah. That's what I told everybody about Trump and Pence. You put those two names together. It means trumpets. Mm -hmm. It sounds like that word. And it's like, I know that they are put together for a reason. And I know it doesn't look like it right now. And people are thinking, because I've had a prophecy about Mike Pence and about how that he had to go in covertly and do things he didn't want to do to save this country. And so with Mike Pence having to do that, and I know because people were saying, well, he took the coin the day of um, when they um, 
the Electoral College, he took the coin. Well, that was Freemasonry. Right. Well, I understand that. But when you're in a covert operation, you have to act covertly. And so you have to do certain things you don't want to do. But if you notice Trump and how Trump talks about him or Trump is, you know, regarding him, he doesn't. If he really portrayed him and really didn't want him to do what he did, I think Trump would come out and act a different way regarding Mike Pence. And he's not. Right. Well, there's also common sense, too. Uh, Mike Pence yeah. has been in, 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 uh, in the Capitol building, been in those situations. There's cameras everywhere. And for him to take the coin, there's a camera watching the coin. He and knew. for him to do a bump with Nancy Pelosi, he knows people are watching. Same thing it with the inauguration. Up. You know, he was doing all that, and they welcomed him in. And, you know, that was all fake. Yeah. You know, they didn't really want to welcome him in. But they just thought, you just helped us do this, so we're going to act friendly to you. But, you know, it's all that, fake. That doesn't mean he, he was a good guy. Right. He was a, he, he, he's been flipped. He's been flipped. We talked about that a long time ago. Yeah. There's many that have been flipped that are now working for the good side. Mm -hmm. that people just don't know yet. It, it, it's truly a movie. And you got to let it play out. That's what he said. He's been saying about how it is a movie and they, and they have hired bad actors. Yeah. <laughs> he says that a lot. Yep. <laughs> they couldn't find anybody then better than what they've got. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so he kind of makes it lightly and jokes around about it. But at the same time, he really is serious. This is the best they could come up with who is like trying to leave the White House right now or pretending to be in that spot. And he can't even say and talk anything. He has to have a cheat sheet in order to, you know, yeah. be on live TV. And it's really sad, the cheat sheet that they just found him with. Yeah. And he couldn't even follow that. No. I mean, it's really outstanding to see what they're doing and yep. what they're getting away with. Well, they think they're getting away with it anyway. <laughs> yep. yep. And they're not. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Any closing thoughts? My goodness. Well... I know I've said in the past to watch the time of Passover. Or yes. something, but this year, a whole lot of shaking going on. Like, he had yeah, me circle seriously. it. Yeah, oh, th this has like two exclamation points on it this Passover. This yep. is going mm -hmm. to be interesting. I wouldn't even be surprised if clashes like started over Passover. Right. Clashes at sea, you know, uh, skirmishes with Israel and Iran stirring up in the middle of this. I would not be surprised in the middle of this if you saw Israeli leadership somehow flip in the middle of this. That, I would not be surprised. You were confirming what yeah. you're saying. You're <laughs> confirming what I've already heard. But I will tell you, the Lord keeps talking about a great exodus. Yeah. And great exodus and having it come around Passover. Yeah. I'm just saying, God's people get ready. This is a great time to be alive. It truly, truly is. And God is going to do something so massive and so big. It can only be him that did it. He doesn't want anybody else to get credit. It is him. And we everything is going to be okay. This country is going to be reborn. And Israel, is they're getting what's been stolen from them, too. They they're are. getting it back. Yep. They are. Israel's going to flip. And you have not heard the last of Bibi, Benjamin Netanyahu. That's oh, right. I don't think so. That's yeah. right. <laughs> I think Bibi's coming back. He's coming back. Mm -hmm. He's coming yep. back. Uh, one of the things the Lord said, if you see Trump coming back, no. Watch for Israel. Benjamin Netanyahu mm -hmm. is on his way back. Who knows? We may be seeing him when we go to uh, Israel. Could be. In November. We'll see. Yep. <laughs> Stay tuned. We'll Stay see. tuned. Yes. It's going to be an exciting time. <laughs> All right, Julie, thank you for coming on. It's always amazing uh, what God is bringing uh, and, and, and matching up to the intel. And for many for a long time, you know, Amanda would have a prophecy, and I would I would kind of grin, but I couldn't say anything about it. And but now that's changed because you're seeing people yeah. like Lara mm -hmm. Logan come out and say bio bio labs. You're seeing yep. generals come mm -hmm. out and saying this is what's happened. You're seeing there's a third laptop too, the Wiener laptop. Yep. It's yeah. going to come out. Uh, if you didn't think anything was happening, the Hunter Lad Biden laptop would never have saw the light of day. Right. It's out. And, it's, and there's nothing they can do to stop what's coming. That's right. Yep. When God says, let my people go, that's exactly what he means. Mm -hmm. And that's what he said. So it's going to come to pass really quickly. I think quicker than people really realize. And it's definitely going to be before, I think, the midterm election. So. Giddy up. <laughs> God has it. Light wins. God bless you. We'll be right back.